Okay, good morning. It's Angus Levy for Binary Option Networking and welcome to a new year, 2016. It's the 4th of January and we are ready to go. Um, I'm going to be a bit cautious, I think, because it's our first day back and there's some quite strong trends going on at the moment. So, um, I'm just going to be a little careful um, with what's happening. I don't want to get caught out in our first day back. So we'll just um, see what goes on. Um, I haven't been sitting down doing nothing over the, uh, the Christmas break. I've actually been working hard in increasing my education. Um, been learning a lot more about FIBOs and the way they work and also um, the movements of, of um, the currency pairs uh, with regards to FIBOs. Now, generally, uh, it's the higher time frame rates that control the the shorter ones. We've got a signal there on UCHF. Um, now it is in the middle of Bollinger and there is a strong downtrend so um, I'm going to be a little cautious with this. I just want to watch and see what it does because it could want to go on further down. I'll just wait and see. And there it goes, yeah. You gave a signal, but only in that candle. Okay, if you want to get a uh, USDCHF ready for a trade, I think we could take this one. Running, it doesn't go back up too much. I'd rather see it down around the zero zero. There we go. Okay, we're going to enter now. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it wants to go down. I just want to go back and see what else is happening. And we're in the money at the moment with USDCHF. Looking good. Nice one, nice winner there. Okay, it looks like there is a slight out of sync again between the MT4 and uh, binary platform. So I always use the MT4 timer from my entering my trades. So just be cautious about that. Well done, Douglas. Uh, how did the rest of you do? Did you take that trade? Okay, let's just take a closer look at UJ. As I said, UJ is in a strong downward trend. I think I'll just wait and see what happens there. I'm not going to take UJ just for the moment.
Hold on, Michael. Win for you as well. Speaking of GU, we've got some constriction beginning to happen in the uh, Bollinger's. So we keep an eye on that. You may be asking me, why didn't I go for UJ? It's just because of the way it's been moving, strong downward trend. Uh, I didn't want to be, you know, dicing with it too much. Especially as it had come back above the uh, minus 1.25. Um, I didn't want to play with that at the moment. Maybe waiting for a little bit for another signal. We're all sort of in the middle of the value chart area at the moment. So the other thing I've been uh, learning up about is proper trend lines, drawing trend lines, understanding trend line breaks. Um, and how they affect the movement of currencies. Um, and I'm also uh, doing more work on Forex trading and learning how to do that. So as I, I progress myself, I'll be looking to bring you guys along with me. Um, what I'm learning is more relevant to the higher time frames like one hour and above um, because they control smaller time frames. The, the, the smaller the time frame, the less uh, easy it is or the more difficult it is for the uh, indicators such as FIBO to be accurate because they are controlled by the higher time frames. Okay, we had a signal there for Euro USD, but it came in too late for us. Just in case it does go up, keep an eye on it and maybe get your platform ready if you want. Looks like it's going to stay down. Could get a signal shortly here on UG, uh, Euro GBP as it approaches. There we go. So get Euro GBP ready. 25. Or you can go for Euro USD. Either of them would be suitable. I wanted to stay up a bit. Okay, I'm swapping to uh, Euro USD, guys. Swapping to Euro USD, and I'm entering. Now, did unfortunately go below the 1.25 in the last minute. Um, so I'm 
hesitant as to whether I'm going to re-enter this trade or not. I think I will enter. No, I won in the last second. Won in the last second. I don't know whether you guys did or not, but I did. You've re-entered, there's a good chance you're going to win this anyway. Or not. If this... It's a really tricky one. No, I wouldn't re-enter after this. I'd wait. Okay, we have a good signal there on GU. GU, I'm going to enter. 25. Martin Gaylord, if you lost on uh, Euro USD, and I'm entering now. Getting ready in case. Okay, and that's another winner. Hold on, Douglas. I'm just keeping an eye and seeing if there is anything else coming up. We may get another signal on GU, but it will be on the middle Bollinger. Um, just 
need to refresh here. I'm feeling uh, we're going to see GU bounce back up in a minute. didn't give us a signal. Oh, there it is now. Okay, I'm actually going to have a crack at that. Um, you don't have to follow me. I think it is possibly going to bounce back up. Uh, and that's just a feeling. It is in the middle Bollinger. So it is. No, I can't do it now if it's. Yeah. Ooh, it's... Oh. No, I'm going to stay out. Maybe I should have gone in, but um, there's no point risking it if I'm just not 100% sure. signal from Euro GBP in a minute. Okay, AU, it's a nice strong one from, sorry, Euro USD. Um, I'm going to go for that. As long as it stays, no, it has to stay above the 1.25. There's another one from UJ, but I'm not as comfortable with it. Okay, I'm going to go for the Euro USD one for the moment. Getting ready to enter now. And there goes GU. Ready to re enter Euro USD. Oh, popped in the money there for a second, in and out. No, I was out. I have to re enter.
This one's teasing us. Okay, that's a winner. And so was the Euro USD there. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but it actually went up. That was the 168 where it hit. And that's where I was expecting it to go to. And uh, then the FIBOs redrew. Generally, it'll, it'll go up to the 168 and then, then come back down. Keep an eye on USDCHF. That's going up now. Okay. I think that might be. Is that our fifth? Is that our fifth win? Um, no, we have another signal from AU this time. I haven't seen AU yet, so let's get AU ready. For a put. And I'm entering. And it looks like this is going to be another nice winner. Yeah, that's our fifth winner. I'm up 98 at the moment. You obviously didn't go back into the Euro USD one, uh, or did you, Douglas? Oh, okay. You are right not to because you would have lost it if you had.
I haven't compounded this morning purely because of what I was seeing before we um, started trading. However, if we had been compounding, we'd be up well over 250 at the moment. Unless you're wanting to send me money, Douglas, I don't know. I, I don't use Squirrel myself. It looks like uh, GU is going into ranging here, so we'll just be prepared for potential breakout. Um, still well above five and eight level here, so at the moment it's nothing to worry about. Those were quite large movements before it. Um, just want to double check on the news. I think there's news coming out towards the end of the hour. Memory serves me right. Yeah. Um, there's news coming out between quarter two and five two, all on Euro. Um, yeah, between Italy, France, and Germany, uh, and Greece. So, how those will affect the market, I'm not sure at the moment. Manufacturing PMIs. So, we might be just very cautious from quarter two onwards. certainly on EURUSD and EURGBP. That's probably why we're seeing it starting starting to uh, range as uh, people are just waiting for the news to come out.
Okay, we have a signal there in Euro USD. It's not where I'd like it to be. It's nowhere near the Bollinger. It did tip off the 100 and come back down. Um, I'm just going to play. Mm, I think I'm going to stay out of this one just for the moment, guys. It may may come down, but uh, I just didn't don't feel 100% comfortable with it at the moment. Looks like it's good so far. Yep, would have been a good trade. Next potential is Euro GBP. Brian and Patrick, are you on? I haven't seen you making any comments. How are you doing this morning? Okay, it's no problem. I hope you're doing well on demo. More quiet at the moment. Again, your GBP is the nearest to giving us a signal, but it may go up now, so we may not actually get a signal from it. Potential there for uh, USD CHF as well. And UJ, UJ. Okay, they're all popping in now. Actually, I prefer USDCHF. Well, UJ is really nice too. Okay, I'm going to enter USDCHF. Entering. Start of the money. Okay, looks like it wants to go further. Back in the money. I'm just going to prepare. In 
Okay, so I do have to go back in. Okay, Euro GBP, I'm going to quickly change to that. 25 for call. Only one, um, only one by three pipettes there with USD CHF. Now this one I entered a couple of seconds late. So, and it had made a move, you see there, so I may potentially lose this, but I will prepare to go back in. on back in. Oh, sugar, I won it in the last second. No, I, I tied in the last second. Hmm. Now stay up. And a winner. Not by much, I'd say. Uh, again, a few pipettes. Oh, no, actually, it was six pipettes. And I actually won on the double there because I tied, but had Martingale, so... Um, I want number double. I'm up uh, 162 for the moment.
Let me get a signal from UJ. No. Pretty close. Okay. Here's DCHF. It's outside the channel. UJ is also giving a strong signal. We'll stick with USDCHF for the moment. Okay, I'm going to enter. Ah, jumped just after I entered. Looks like UJ would have been the better one for us, but anyway. Just want to see how we're doing on the higher time frame. Okay, 16.8. I'll go back in. I'd say we only just lost that one. Let's see. 73. Oh, we lost a bit. Come on, keep going down. Looks like we're going to win it. There we go. Yeah, well done, Douglas. Yeah, we have a lot of news coming out now, so for the next uh, little bit we'll just watch and see if there's any big movements. We might catch some on a retracement. I think it's Italy first, so that may not have much of a, an effect. Italian news is out and it's not really had any effect. It'll be the German one at 5, 2, we'll have the real. And then 9 o'clock, um, it's the Euro PMI.
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got eight wins and one double up. So I'm on 181 at the moment. So if we finish on uh, with one more win, I'll be happy. Ideally, three more wins. Normally, we average around the 250 for the hour. Okay, UJ. It's an interesting one. No, I won't take that. It's it's just too close to the 1.25 at the moment. And it's sort of in between the Bollingers. It feels like it's it's nowhere now, unless it's somewhere as far as the higher time frames, and it doesn't look like it. So um, that's interesting. The arrow disappeared again. Yeah, it's interesting the the market's more or less ignored what happened in Italy. I'd say it'll be the nine o'clock news will be the one that'll move it the most. But we'll see we we'll see what happens with Germany because that'll give you a very good indicator as to what will happen as far as um uh, the Euro news. The French one is coming out at the end of this minute. French slightly down, 51.4 compared to being sort of in the mid-range as far as the um, BC is concerned, value charts, but we may see a signal from AU shortly. There we go. It's in the middle Bollinger. So, as always, middle Bollingers are, you know, dicey enough. No, it's gone back above the 1.25, so I'm not going to go for it. Okay, there's the Euro USD.
I'm going to have a go at this one. If it stays, no, it's gone below the 1.25 knot. Sorry. UJ, Miss UJ, sugars. Darn. Well, it looks like we were right to stay out of the mall. Still keeping an eye on what's happening here with uh, Euro USD. GBP. This is probably all the news driving all of this, guys. So we'll wait and see. Um, it's on the one on the sixty-one point eight. Oh, there it goes now. Sure. When it tends to hit the sixty-one point eight, it'll it'll rebound quite often. Okay, EG. I'm going to go for EG. Oh, sugar, it's moved. Lost it. I know I'm sounding like I'm indecisive. It's it's purely because I'm cautious of what the news is doing as well. at AU at the moment. If it gives a signal, I'll go for it. And there it goes. Getting ready to enter. Entering. It's not very strong. It's on the money at the moment. Entering. Oh, I tied. There we go. Oh, come on.
Okay, not a winner. UCHF had a nice winner there as well. Uh, let's just see. German news is out, and it wasn't good, I'd say, judging by the way it went down. Having said that, if you look at USDCHF, it was probably the, the USD currency that moved it, although there was a good move down also here. So maybe they both moved. Um, leads me to think that the euro is actually going to dip more with the announcement of the PMI uh, at the top of the hour. I'm probably actually not going to take another trade, guys, for this hour. I'm going to um, leave it at that for this session. Um, just going to check how I did. We didn't take that many trades. Um, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine winners. We had two ties, which I martingaled and won. So it sort of doubled up there. So you could say that was the equivalent of 11 winners. And we had two losses for 225, 22, which is actually not bad, considering we didn't do any uh, martingaling at all. So I'm actually happy enough with that. And I'm going to call it for this hour. And we will trade again at midday, that's in three hours' time, uh, and see how the markets are then. So thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. And Happy New Year again to everyone. And we will start again in three hours' time. So this is Angus Levy for Binary Option Networking saying thank you and see you again soon. Bye-bye.